Hi there, and welcome to BSF Recovery Team. Well, we're still in the garage. We got the frame straight now, and uh, it's time to put our steering box back on and strengthen it up. We're going to do that with this off-road design steering brace kit that we have. Um, you can also get a uh, plate from off-road design that goes over the side of the frame here. The uh, Half tons and the blazers do have a problem with the frame cracking in this area. Uh, the one ton frames though are considerably thicker and ours hasn't cracked yet and probably won't. It likes to bend though. So we'll install the brace kit. No need for us to put the plate over the top. Again because this is a one ton it has a little bit of extra bracing this gusset right here which we have to get out of the way to put this in to brace our, our top front hole for our steering box. And then once we put that in, <clears throat> we'll put our gusset back in also. Okay, we got our strengthening bracket loosely installed and our gusset put back in. We're going to leave the bolts loose for now until we get our steering box bolted up. As you can see, our long bracket braces the back side of the steering box on these two bolts here and up here. So we've loosely installed those and our steering box. Oh, by the way, we also installed this 3 8 piece of strap here on the bottom of our frame flange to strengthen the rippled area. Now, a little tip. The fourth bolt for the steering box is real hard to get at and this bracket makes it even worse and when you can still twist this bracket out of the way a little bit because we haven't installed this bolt here yet is a good time to get this bolt started okay we have our bracket in place and all four of our steering box bolts started so now we can tighten those up With our box bolted up tight, now we can tighten the bolts on the gusset. So what's a gusset? Uh, a gusset is a triangular piece that helps support uh, two pieces of metal uh, when they're put together at a right angle. We have one last bolt we need to install on our bracket. And that's this one right here. But in order to put it in, we first have to drill a hole. So, in the tight quarters, we need to use our right angle drill. So we got it through, so now we can drill it from the other side. Okay, our last bolt. And our steering box bracing is done. With our power steering lines hooked back up and our steering shaft hooked back up, now's a good time to bleed out the steering box. And we do that simply by filling up the fluid and having Jeff turn the steering wheel lock to lock several times without even having the engine running. Go ahead, Jeff. And the gear itself will cycle the fluid 
through all the lines. Okay, let's check our fluid. Looks good. Normally, the next step would be to roll the front axle underneath it, start putting the rest back together. But, when we were taking it apart, I found a problem with the front axle that we need to attend to. And, it'll be much easier to fix while the axle's out. Let me show you. Our front axle, for the wrecker, is referred to as a kingpin style Dana 60. And, check this out. See that movement there? Not supposed to do that. Well, we got it all apart, and here's our problem. This cone is supposed to be threaded into that casting. And over the years of hard use and abuse, it is no longer threaded in that casting, and uh, we got to do something about that. Of course, we could switch to a whole nother axle housing. We do have one, but I think we're going to repair this one. How are we going to do that? Well, you guessed it. We're going to weld it. But we're going to save that for another video. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Subscribe to this channel, share my videos, and maybe we'll see you out there in the woods.